Well, hello, this is Jack Byer, your American Narrowboater. Today is Sunday, the 5th of December, and you're looking at the sun coming up over Playa del Carmen in Cancun, Mexico. I put together a quick video of the narrowboat vlogs that start with the letter C, and there's like 14 of them. So that'll probably be everything that you're gonna see in today's video. Uh, I hope to I hope you enjoy it. I've got a new selfie stick here that I don't feel very confident with, so let's just see what happens. Uh, the first vlog we're gonna talk about is Canis Bannon. Uh, he has two boats. He's got a wide beam Dutch barge called Delinda, and he's got a narrow boat called Jorga. And wonderful guy. Uh, the Jorga, I'm sorry, the Linda actually has a very nice, uh, very long uh, pedigree. It was one of the barges that Hitler had uh, confiscated in France to Operation Sea Lion to send the, the German troops to England. Of course, that never happened, but that's one of the boats. Uh, the Jorga, he uh, it, it seems to work, but it's like a utility boat for him. It gets him to the dumpsters. It gets him around town. They, he, he's in the uh, London area. Uh, still working on the on the Linda, and you don't know if he's ever going to finish it. <laughs> but it's a wonderful vlog. Give it a shot. I live in a narrow boat. I have done so for nearly six years and have enjoyed cruising the canals of the United Kingdom. My narrow boat is 57 feet long and six foot ten inches wide. However, every time I'd see a Dutch barge, I'd say to myself. I want one. So for most of 2018, I searched for a Dutch barge to buy and found one. Only to discover, after I paid £575 for a survey, that the hull was rotten. Okay. The next vlog is Canuck on the Cut. And uh, I'm in the resort. It's the Royal Hideaway, so I'm just walking up the paths. Uh, you're going to hear a lot of ambient noise, a lot of music going on in the background. Uh, you're going to see my wonderful American Narrowboater shirt here. <laughs> and uh, Canuck on the Cut is a nice gentleman. He does a lot of athletic, outdoorsy kind of vlogs. He has a narrowboat called the Cool Challenge. And I'm not sure if it's his or if that was the name of one. And I think it's his, but I'm not sure. Anyway, he, is rather, he does a lot of vlogging. Uh, infrequently, he does the narrowboat vlog. Give him a shot if you're interested. I've had to detach the audio that uh, Canuck on the Cut put up only because it's copyright protected and I don't have the copyright. What I liked about his vlog, as you'll see, is how he uses his real life position along with Google Maps. So you can follow along with him on Google Maps as he cruises the cut. The next one is Catherine Finn. Now, Catherine Finn is also known as the Princess of Shiraz. Shiraz is the name of the boat. <laughs> and uh, when I first started watching her, I was watching her as the Princess of Shiraz. Recently, she's changed the name and she's, she's uh, publishing vlogs under the name of Catherine Finn. Boat names are traditionally very short and are named after a boater's special woman in his life. The word quarantine actually comes from an old Italian boating term, Quaranta giorni. Charlie and Lorin, uh, this is a youngish couple that do a lot of vlogging and we're talking, you know, maybe a million viewers. Very popular. Uh, they own a narrow boat and they do a lot of narrow boating. Uh, but they also do a lot of caravan work. So uh, it's a smattering. Right now they are on the narrow boat and they're getting it ready for Christmas. So if you want to see what their Christmas decorations look like, give them a look. 
started from the narrowboat. Got my little abominable snowman here. There we go. <laughs> a bit more bright and lively. What is happening today? We are putting the Christmas decorations up. <laughs> we are. It's the 3rd of December, so we're a couple of days late because Lauren has not been well the last couple of days. Nope. But she's feeling better now? Been full of cold, but I'm feeling much better. To be honest, it is a gloomy ass day. But hopefully, today's vlog is going to brighten it up a bit. It's Christmas decoration time. Before we get started. Chris and Jane on the narrowboat prop, Poppy, a uh, very engaging couple. Uh, of course, the name of their boat is the Poppy. They've been vlogging for a long, long time. Who knows? This might be something you want to binge watch. Why don't you look Hi, at one of their vlogs? Chris on a fine, fine Monday morning. What a weekend that's been on narrowboat Poppy. We've had uh, really fierce winds. <laughs> on the friday night was it friday night i think it was and uh like i say it's Aston marina the solar panels blown off uh canoes planks and all sorts what a night that was it was uh, <coughs> the worst storm i think i've ever had when being on there about poppy <laughs> the other one next one is chris and shell from michelle <laughs> on the narrow boat Odd Struck Bell. Uh, they're vegan, and you're gonna get some great vegan recipes from them. She's also uh, someone that can go down the towpath and find things to eat on the towpath, foragers, I guess they call them. Very interesting vlog. Uh, she's also into yoga and physical fitness. They do a lot, of, uh, a lot of trips up into the mountains. Give them a shot. They're still there. They've been around for a long time. I reviewed them once more under the vlog of vlogs, but I think they're still worth and always will be worth a view. Here's a new one for you, Chris Myers. I think he's done eight or nine vlogs. Chris has, uh, as you'll see from this clip, Chris is just uh, separated from his family and he's buying a narrow boat and you're gonna get his feel for what a narrow boat should be. He's pretty darn practical and pretty specific about what he wants. Um, I think you're gonna enjoy that one. Give it a shot. Uh, again, he's got some very good practical advice. This vlog's about risk and risk versus reward. About five years ago, I separated from the family and I realized when I separated that I needed to find somewhere to live. And buying a home, house, is quite an expensive thing to do and would probably require a mortgage. So what I wanted to do was to knuckle down and put myself in what we now know as lockdown and save hard for as long as I possibly could. And I put on the computer, turned YouTube on, and there was that thumbnail that stated, I sold my house and bought an arrow boat, or I left my job and bought an arrow boat, one of, the, one of the two options. And that made me click. And then when I clicked and watched it, the algorithm kicked in and, and showed me another load of narrow boaty type YouTube videos, which I watched. And then I studied through YouTube, narrow boats for the whole weekend. And I did a financial plan, I did a financial strategy, and I worked out that this this is absolutely something that I could do. You know, <laughs> Christine Ann and the boys. Hasn't been out for a while. It's uh, I guess it's been almost a year since they vlogged. I hope they're still vlogging. I just hope that they're being held off for a while. I'm approaching a bar. I may have to break this. This resort we're in, it's all you can eat, all you can drink. It's a all-inclusive resort. So I may just have to stop here for a while and uh, have a beer or maybe a, ba a Malibu Bay Breeze. There's the door to it. Uh, anyway, the Christine Ann is the name of the boat and it's also the name of the, uh, matri the matrix of the house and uh, the boys are her husband and her sons.
The next is the church, I'm going to pronounce this wrong, folks, Church Minshul Marina. And again, it's a marina that sells and buys uh, narrow boats. If you're interested to see what their stock looks like, give them a watch. Hey, just dip inside again, Church Mansell, Aqueduct Marine. Colin Jacques. Colin Jacques narrow boat build. Um, the name of their boat is Cinder's Dream. And this is a refurbishing type blog. Uh, they show you, it's a, a DIY. You want to see how to how they do their boat and what kind of refurbishing work they're doing? Give it a shot. Yeah, good morning, 9th of April. Um, we've just left the mooring. Right. Um, yeah, woke up this morning to voices. Got out the boat at past six. And it's only a fisherman on the bank shouting on the phone to somebody. Corsos on the cut. <laughs> Corsos are big, gray, attractive dogs. This gentleman has two of them. He's in love with them. Uh, he also owns a narrow boat. And this is his adventures with two dogs on the boat. Uh, the boat is called the Wood Sorrel. Start taking the roof off. You can see how easy once the roof's off, how easy the sides are going to come in. Because we've got to, um, before I can do the um, epoxy resin, I've got to do all the welding first. So um, we'll go up today, take the roof off, see how easy it is to take the sides in, take off the rubbing straight, because that'll all have to be new. So I think we're about four inches too wide at the minute for the, um, most most of the canals. So um, we need to find a way of getting the boat in and putting bulkheads into all the. Country House Jet. Uh, truly one of my favorite vlogs. I like the name because he truly is a Country House Jet. Uh, he's also very prolific. He publishes a lot of vlogs. Uh, I also like it because he adds a little bit of his philosophy and a little bit of his politics in it. Some people may not like it. I don't always agree with him, but I do enjoy him telling me about it. The name, the name of his boat, as you'll see, is the Aslan. Um, it's one that goes boom, 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 boom as it goes up the cut. It's an older boat, but uh, he loves it. Listen to him talk about it. Well, good day, YouTubers. And to join me, just as I'm leaving the outer fringes of Garstang and heading northwards for around about two miles to my favourite mooring spot. Now the eagle-eyed amongst you will notice, no doubt, that I've given the roof of Aslan a coat of paint. After much scraping and armed with brush and roller, I managed to get a good thick coat on of Screwfix Primer just before we then enjoyed about three weeks of continual rain cruising alba cruising alba has a youngish couple it's miles and maria uh, marina and they're on the narrowboat alba and this is their adventure of them cruising it and what their lifestyle is like they're very forthcoming with you know what their expenses are and what they have to do to fix their boat. That's what this next one is. You might want to take a watch. 
come with us on a gorgeous autumnal cruise saturated with abundant golden colors and discover the interconnected history of the Kennetonaven Canal, Wilton Windmill and Grofton Pumping Station. We are on the move again. We just passed. And so are they. Yeah. <laughs> we just passed Mark and Julie from We On The Move. Check out their channel. Uh, I'll put a link below. It looks like we're going in the same direction. So we're going to try and catch up with those guys later on. So Cruising crafts. This one, this one is Gareth. He's with his wife, but you know, I, I, I haven't been able to determine what her name is, but uh, Gareth is on the good ship, Lady Brian. He's a blacksmith, and you'll see him meet quite a few of uh, the other bloggers, and he'll do work on their boats for them. So this is it. Welcome back, guys. Thanks for joining us again. And as you can see, we are now leaving the last lock of the Langdothlin at Hurlston Junction. Now, if you remember last week, I said, which way are we gonna go? We can go left towards Chester or right towards Birmingham. Which way are we gonna go? Let's find out. Finally, the last of the seas, cruising the cut. David Johns, oops, I'm getting near a machine. I'm gonna go a little quicker here. We're going over a uh, machine that adds water. The last of the seas is David Johns cruising the cut. Uh, and what can I add? What can I say? He's the Dean of narrowboat vloggers. Very prolific. He puts out several vlogs and uh, I don't need to tell you anything about him, but Here's his last flock. Hello and welcome to a video that I never ever wanted to make. I'm at a boat yard in Hertfordshire to hear the sorry tale of a woman who very much wanted to be a liverboard narrowboater and did everything absolutely by the book when buying her boat. But it's all gone horribly, horribly wrong. Well, I hope you enjoyed those vlogs. I hope you enjoyed the scenery here in uh, Cancun, Playa del Carmen. We're at the Royal Hideaway. We've just finished a glorious buffet breakfast. If you liked the video as much as I like breakfast, please click the like button down below. Subscribe. Leave comments, please. And if you click the notification bell, you'll know when the next vlog comes out. Thanks and have a great day.